Hey, let me tell y'all something, man. Let me tell y'all something. You see where I'm at? Hey, take a good look. Take a good look. You see this? You see that? Hey, you see that? That's my boat, son. It's my block. Holla at me. Come see me. Hey, what's up, y'all? Jay on the Segway. We got another video going on here. Today, we got the Dualtron Victor. Thousand mile review. Let's go. Um, why does it feel like I've been here before? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're supposed to do a thousand mile review on the Victor, but this place is a vibe. Facts. We got castles and shit. We got people riding on a fancy little boats on the water. We got the Victor right there. This place is a whole vibe, y'all. Got this right here. Castle looking structures. Okay, so here's the thing. The Victor, right? This guy. We finally put a thousand miles on the Victor, all right? Um, problems that I've ever had with the Victor, the rear tire. So these things, Dualtrons in general, with tubed tires are notorious for getting flats. It's usually the back tire. Um, I've had to change the inner tube a couple of times on this bad boy, maybe like three times. And it is a pain, it is a pain in the butt. All right, but once you do it the first time, you get used to doing it again and again and again. Another issue I've ever had with this uh, scooter was the stem creaking. That's another Dualtron issue. Um, when you like pull on the, on the stem, it'll make a eeky, 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 eeky noise. Well, it was doing that and I had to go on and get some silicone tape. I'll put the, the link to that video. I showed you guys how I did it. So um, I'll put the link to that video down below but it was creaking so i went on ahead and fixed that issue um i think that's really it hello ladies Hi, how are you? i'm great how you doing, doing good. <laughs> this place survived <laughs> it's pretty cool <laughs> so um i had to ch i had to repair the inner tube three times i had to fix the stem the creaking in the stem so we got that squared away and uh everything else was pretty much modifications now i got one more problem with it and that is the front motor something with the cables they may be pinched a little bit so when i hit the dual motor set when i hit the, uh, the motor for the dual motor if the steering is all the way to the right or even halfway to the right it will um that front motor won't come on so that's a problem that i have right now and i don't know where that issue is but i have to play around with the cable before that front motor actually connects hey what's going on guys <laughs> no, i'm good i'm good so um once i get that figured out i'll let you guys know and that's pretty much it the victor's been good man it's been a thousand miles i've got a thousand reliable miles another thing i like about the victor is the speedometer and the odometer is pretty accurate so I've been comparing my Google Maps along with my Garmin Edge 530, which is a bike computer. So that's normally gonna be more uh, accurate, more than anything. And, oh, we gonna have to, 
Let's put this vibe. Let's put this vibe behind us, y'all. All right, let's get that. Let's get that vibe up in the picture. Okay, so the speedometer and the odometer on the Victor, very accurate. Um, I compare it to my NAMI. My NAMI after a 50 mile ride will be like four miles off on the odometer. So the miles, the, the speedometer also, it's, it's usually kind of off up to about two and a half miles per hour. So you'll be reading out 64 miles an hour on the NAMI, but you're really doing 61 and a half, 62 tops, depending on the actual speed you're going. But this guy has been pretty, pretty close to accurate. It's not dead accurate, but um, if it says 14 miles per hour on the speedo on the Victor, the Garmin Edge is going to say 14 point something. So when I know I'm close to 15 miles per hour, let's just say I'm at 14 miles per hour reading on the speedo. Uh, but I, I was a little bit on a throttle, but it was still reading 14. If I look at the Garmin Edge, it'll be at like 14.8, 14.9 miles per hour. So the speedometer and the odometer, as far as this goes, is really, really, really close to accurate. Um, it's been a pretty good scooter. One thing, here's another thing. So notice, I have the Victor leaned up against the sidewalk. Why is that, Jay, on the Segway? Okay. Right up under here, somewhere, is supposed to be the holes for the kickstand. So with that being said, what I'm gonna tell you guys is, when you guys have any Dualtron scooter, that's really any scooter, you could prevent that from happening by just checking certain components, making sure they're tight all the time. Like the kickstand, there's two, two little Allen key screws that went into that. Had I been checking that like I was supposed to, I would have known they were loose. And when they were loose, they were stripping. And so with them stripping, they stripped. I couldn't even screw them back in because they didn't vibrate themselves, the threading, they didn't vibrate the threads until they were stripped out. And now I don't have a kickstand. So if any of you guys know a solution for me, as far as kickstand and this Victor goes, please do tell. I can't utilize the, the original holes. It can't, it's gotta be an alternative. Maybe there's a clip on, um, there's some sort of clip on kickstand that I could use for the Victor. It's at the stock height in case that matters. And um, yeah, it's been really good, guys. Do I recommend this scooter? I do. It's a really good mid-range scooter. They call it a high-performance scooter. It's a pretty good scooter. They don't sell this Victor. This Victor, by the way, is the 1.0 version. It's the, the first gen, first one that came out. I may have been the first one of the first people to actually get this scooter. So um, it's been good, like I said. Uh, I've had a couple little issues. Once you get the inner tube and everything squared away, it's a piece of cake after that. It's just, you turn it on, you, you, you hit the throttle, it goes. It just, it's been reliable. That's just, it just does what it does, okay? We did a max range test on the Victor. It's got me like 73 miles or something like that before it completely died. So it's been, it's been a good one for me. But um, yeah, I think that's all, man. I'm gonna head back. It's getting cold out here, y'all. It's warm, but it's cold. That castle, though, like, damn. Thank you.
got some in and out got some fresh taters mm. Watch this. Oh. All right, people, so I'm back, back to the big guy. Um, if you guys like the video, man, hit the like button. This is supposed to be more of a 1,000 mile review of the Victor, which I kind of think I did. We talked about the inner tube on the rear tires. We talked about the cables in the stem. They're like real iffy. We talked about the kickstand making sure you guys check certain bolts. You wanna check bolts for the steering mechanism, make sure they're always tight. You wanna make sure that your kickstand's always on point and that it's tightened up. You wanna make sure your brakes especially, you wanna make sure all the bolts for your brakes are all nice and tight. If you guys have Loctite, the blue type, make sure you get that and um, maybe take some of them screws out and redo them with some Loctite. So uh, I like the Victor, it's good, man. We just got finished doing like 40 something. Okay, I'm thinking that's fireworks and not gunshots. <laughs> I am in California, it could be a shootout. Yeah, but we went over all that good stuff. Victor's been all right. Oh, we went over the, the stem creaking, the creaking noise. Like I said, check the links below if you're interested. If you guys are looking at a Victor, this is a first gen Victor. This is not the Victor Luxury. So I still have a single and dual motor button, which I actually really like because days like today, if I want to do some touring riding and I don't have a lot of hills and stuff like that, I'll just put it in single motor mode and, uh, and just cruise about nice and slow and easy and smooth. And you know, the throttle isn't as jerky when you have the rear motor only set up, which I really like. And um, everything's real linear and smooth. So when I'm riding in low, you know, low speed situations, or like I said, if I'm doing like a tour and I'm just riding, I'm cruising, I just do single motor. Now, there may be people out there that might say, oh, single motor is not good for the Victor. That's why they got away with it. That may be true, but guess what guys? I've used single motor mode a lot. I've even done a video going towards up to Death Valley. It was an 18 mile uh, ride, a constant uphill. <clears throat> and guess what? The Victor motor never overheated. No, everything was perfectly fine. So if you guys have a first gen Victor, uh, don't feel too bad about not having our Achilles or the, what is it? The Victor Luxury. Don't feel too bad about it because as it sits right now, it's actually pretty good. So, anyways, Jay on the Segway. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Peace.